let's stick within one block for a moment and add one more question here. This is a multiple choice question. And uh, let's make it yes, maybe no. And we'll add one more question below here. Now, what you can also do with questions is you can make them conditional. So if I want to make this question conditional, question six that I just created conditional on question five, I go to question six, I select that one, and I click on display logic. Here I can tell Qualtrics, and this is this seems very complicated at first glance, but just read what the text says here. Display this question only if the following condition is met. When a question, and this is question number five, is yes, and it is selected, then we display uh, question number six. So I'll show that again. So the logic here says, if question number five is selected, yes is selected, so if a participant selects option yes, then we display question number six. And that looks like this. Now imagine a participant clicks yes here and goes to the next page. Now question number six is displayed. And this allows you to create um, logic behind questions and only show some questions to participants um, if they um, have uh, given you certain answers. So if they, for example, indicated, I have a job, you can ask them, how many hours do you work? And um, you don't ask that question to people who have indicated that they don't have a job. And this allows you to customize surveys um, to the answers that participants give you while completing the survey.